Hey everyone, how's it going? Ever since I got my Yeti, I thought about using Maxxis tires with it. It comes with Maxxis tires that are very aggressive, but I use this more for cross country. So what options do I have to replace my tires? In the back here, I've been using Thunderbird for quite a while and I'm very happy with this. Between the Maxxis Aspen and Recon Race, that I reviewed recently, I am pretty sure that I can find a good replacement for the Thunderbird. Up front, I picked the Maxxis Forecaster as a replacement for my Rocket Run, so why don't we take a closer look at this. This 235 is the widest tire they have before they jump to 2.6 WT, and I picked the EXO and Tubeless Ready version. In case you didn't know, Forecaster is considered by Maxxis to be an aggressive cross-country tire, that is optimized for loose or wet conditions. Uh, it offers 120 TPI casing and dual compound. The varied uh, terrains that this is optimized for is also mentioned down here. And in this corner, you have something that's pretty useless. Three out of four, pretty much all tires that I looked at as of late had three out of four. Weight of the 235, it's supposed to be 735 grams. And you can see it here at 750, which is very close to that. I'm going to install this tire on an Arch MK3 rim from Stance, the same that I use for Aspen and Recon Race. This is a 26 millimeter ID rim. A little bit of soapy water and I could install the tire no problem. You have a rotational arrow here on the left hand side. This is the disc side. You have the branding, the tire size 29 to 35 and this is made in Taiwan. All their tires are made there. And here on the drive side or right side, you have the name of the tire, 29 to 235, 60 PSI and 120 TPI, XO NTR again. If you look carefully, you're going to find the ETRTO 60-622. So this, the width of this tire should be 60 millimeters. Uh, more details here about maximum pressures allowed, branding, and uh, 29 to 235 again. I have the tire inflated to 40 psi right now and I'm going to leave it like that overnight. We'll be back tomorrow. And here's the Forecaster 25 psi next to Recon Rays that I reviewed not too long ago. The difference between the two cross country tires is quite obvious. First of all, Forecaster has a lot taller knobs. Uh, the center knobs are about 3.3, 3.5 millimeters as tall as the cornering knobs on the Recon. The cornering knobs on the Forecaster are a millimeter and a bit taller than that. Fairly tall knobs spaced out with a lot of open areas that would clear mud and debris quite well. But I'm wondering if this is going to make it puncture prone to an extent. The center knobs are not ramped up like they are on the Recon. And you see a lot of sharp edges here on these wide knobs that are used for braking. Every single knob in here is siped. You see the little cuts everywhere that allows it to deform so it conforms better with the terrain to give you better grip. This is a nice volume tire with a pretty round profile as you see here. Very different than something like High Roller from Maxxis. 26 millimeter rims I think are perfect for this tire. You can see the side knobs sticking out a little bit and that's exactly what you should see. If the casing is sticking out, that's a clear indication that you install them on a rim that's way too wide. So width of the tire, which is edge to edge of the cornering knobs, is 59 millimeters and a bit. And that is 2.33 inches, very close to the specified 235. Height of this tire is about 56 millimeters. You see 73 minus the 60 millimeters of the rim. Overall, a nice thread profile that I think it would work very well for trail riding as well. And here is my bike all dressed up with Maxxis tires. What do you guys think? Recon Race on the rear and Forecaster front. This Forecaster is definitely the perfect front tire for more aggressive cross-country riding. I wouldn't put it in the back. For cross-country, I think it would be a bit overkill. What do you guys think? Interested in the Forecaster? Have you used it before? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you found this useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, hope to see you guys on the trails riding Maxxis Forecast tires. Cheers, guys. Cheers.